Welcome back to another video, Anglers. Today, I'm at the spot that started it all out for me. This is the place that I've caught most of my big smallmouth bass, as well as the place where I actually learned most of my smallmouth bass fishing tactics. This place also helped me name this channel, this being the Androscoggin River. Found a nice calm spot in the river as you can see behind me the water is nice and flat so this is a great time to throw on a top water bait and see what I can get for these bass it's only about eight or nine feet right here so they should be able to see it even if they're all the way at the bottom but we'll see what happens I'm hoping I can get some smallies to crush my whopper plopper so I've actually used this whopper plopper a lot it's really come to be one of my go-to top water baits There's not too many people around here that really use these that I've seen anyways so the fish really haven't seen these too much and they're more prone to go after it so let's see we can get anything to launch out of the air for this guy all right first cast with the whopper plopper let's see how he does usually like to let it sit there for just a moment because sometimes those bass will actually come up and take kind of a curiosity bite out of it and you can hook them like that if not i like to give it a couple little pops before i actually start giving it that smooth nice retrieve i'll give it two or three pops then I'll start retrieving. And that usually gets the bass going just like that. Right there. First cast. <laughs> little guy. Like I said, those couple little pops actually attract the fish from further away. They can hear it and they can see it. And this guy is a wacky rig now. <laughs> awesome little guy. As you can see, the bait is actually pretty big compared to the fish. He is mad, so we're going to let him go fish on the first cast with this whopper plopper it's always good hopefully it'll be a little bit better luck for a decent sized one to hit this but we'll see there we go another one it's like as soon as you stop popping it and you start reeling it, they go right after it. He let go. Ooh, nice little backlash there. Everybody gets them. Everybody gets them. Pull that right out. There we go. Good little smolly. Hey, little dude. Welcome to the patty. Nice little guy. Going back on that jerk bait. Oh, right there at the boat. Right at the boat. Ooh, he spit out something. What is that? Spit out a little Sanko. Somebody must have got him on a Sanko at some point little bass on that jerk bait it's putting in some work today putting in some work oh there's a good one. Oh, oh my goodness that is a great one right there a hog. Been catching all these dinks up here in the shallows and finally hooked into a decent sized bass. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Oh, that is a good bass. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I hope you guys were able to see him on camera at least. See if I can maybe slow down the footage or something if you guys hadn't seen it. Really hope you guys saw that thing on camera. Dang it. 
Oh, I already got a fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not as big as the one I just had, but I just cast it back out there and didn't even start reeling it back to me and already had another fish. This one's a little bit, a lot smaller actually, but better than the ones I've been catching. Look at this guy fight. Come here, dude. Awesome fish. That other fish though, I cannot believe I lost that fish. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. This guy's about a pound. Not the biggest, but bigger than what I've been catching, so I cannot complain at all. What a nice fish. You gotta love all their colors. All little tiger patterns on them. Got to love the smallmouth bass. Awesome fish. He's going back. All right, let's do a little midday update. So you may be thinking, Scott, why aren't you throwing the whopper plopper? You were getting fish on it and it's more exciting to catch fish on the whopper plopper. And you're right, it is. But at the same time, I think I'll get a lot more bites once the sun goes down on the whopper plopper. I'm fishing kind of the middle of the river. Maybe once I move to the sides, I'll end up switching to the whopper plopper to make it look like something swimming off from the land or jumping off into the water from the land. But for now, I'm casting with the jerk bait just for the fact that if I hook a fish on the jerk bait, they generally are staying down in the water. While if I hook a fish on the whopper plopper way out and reel them across the water on top, it's causing actually a lot more commotion, which could spook those bigger fish and trigger them just to go deeper and stay away from any lures that go near them. So that's the reason why I'm fishing the jerk bait. Also, you can't fish one bait all the time. The jerk bait is super fun to fish. Either way, the whopper plopper is fun to fish as well, but the jerk bait is just as fun and it's actually catching me more fish than the whopper plopper did. So far, the jerk bait has also hooked the biggest fish of the day, which I ended up losing, which kind of sucks, but I was able to hook a decent sized fish on the jerk bait. So I also wanted to bring up what you guys are seeing through the camera lens. You guys are just seeing a big open span of water, but on my graph, I can actually see where those rock piles are and where those dips are. So right now I'm actually cruising over um, some shallower spots and going to where it dips down and then kind of backing off into the shallow area, anchoring down and uh, casting into the deep, bringing it up to the shallow. I'm really happy to be out here on the river. I haven't been here in so long. I'm the Andro Angler. I'm supposed to be here a ton and I will be for the next couple of videos. So drop a like down below if you like the video so far and let's get back to fishing. Fish is about the same size as the bait. Now he's behind my gas tank. Give me a little guy. Look at the size of this monster bass. Oh my goodness, that thing is huge. <laughs> little guy, about the same size as my bait, and he nailed it too. I didn't even think I still had him on, but little baby smallmouth bass. All right, you guys, so I think that's enough of the jerk bait for a little bit at least. I'm gonna go ahead and fish the shade that's behind me over there, and hopefully I'll be able to get some bass to jump up for that whopper plopper, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I had one. I was trying to get my rod untangled and he hit it. Come here, buddy. A little better, not too big, but better, kinda. Come here, a nice little river smallie. Just going right back. All right, you guys, pulling right up to the next spot here. That over there is actually the rock that I fished off of in a ton of my videos. If you guys flip back through some of my videos, you'll see me fishing right off that rock and catching a ton of smallmouth. The reason why the smallmouth hang out here is because there's actually a hump right here, kind of in the middle of the water that drops on each side. And it also drops towards, towards me and behind me. 
comes up to about 10 feet. It's just a giant boulder. And the bass sit on each side of that and around it because the bait fish swim up over it. And as soon as they get to each side, the bass can ambush and get a good meal. I'm gonna start off throwing that jerk bait again and hopefully we can get on some more fish. All right, first cast of the jerk bait in this spot. Let's see if we can get any fish here. They should be hanging all around me. We will see. Hoping to get maybe another decent sized one here as well. I already lost one decent sized fish. It was probably about two and a half, three pounds. So, hoping to maybe land one today. Worst comes to worst, I did catch a lot of fish today, a lot more than I expected to really catch. So, all in all, today has been a really great day of fishing. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh boy. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. Better smallmouth on the jerk bait. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Get over here. Oh, boy. Come on, come on. oh I gotcha. <laughs> Probably only about a pound and a half. That is a good smallmouth bass right there. Nice, healthy fish. She's going right back. Awesome fish. Awesome to be back out here fishing for these guys. Here you go, buddy. Whoa. They got some power. Oh. <laughs> That was not me even barely pulling that fish and he just jumped about three or four feet out of the water. Yeesh, this is a good one. This is a good fish, come here buddy. Probably about a two pounder. He's just dogging me, what the heck, yeesh. These smallmouth fight this current all year long and they are just so strong. Come here buddy, <laughs> come on, get up here. There he is, beautiful fish. Come on, buddy. Come on, get up here. Oh, biggest one of the day. Which isn't saying much, but, ooh, come on. Oh, that is a chunky one. Look at that fish. That is a nice smallmouth bass right there. Probably about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. That is a nice fish. This is why I love this river so much. Nice chunky bass. Going right back in. Here you go. so much for sticking tuned to the end of the video if you liked it drop a like down below and subscribe it was so nice to get back out on the river today really great to catch some smallmouth bass and get back in tune from where i really started the androscoggin river i'm the andro angler and i'll catch you guys on the next video